My whole life I thought I was a loser. You know, in those brief moments of my life I said, I'm not a loser, I'm a winner. I had my dad right there to just stomp that delusion <laughs> with a steel-toed insult. And then if my self-esteem pulse continued to beat, my father would point out that I came out of the womb of a mentally ill woman, and it wasn't my fault I was a loser, it was genetic. <laughs> Thank you, Dad, I love you too. <laughs> Now, I'll admit it, my father was tough on me, but his father was tough on him. My grandfather came out of the Depression. And if you're in here tonight and you have relatives from the Depression still alive, don't worry, they ain't gonna be here long. Because <laughs> what a pain in the ass they are. <laughs> oh, try to complain to someone from the Depression. It's kind of hot today. You don't know what hot is! <laughs> when I was growing up, the sun was a million miles closer to the Earth than it is right now. We didn't have food, we ate dirt and turnips and rat feet, that's all we had. On Thanksgiving, we were lucky if we had hobo stew. Do you know how long it takes to cut up a goddamn hobo? <laughs> yeah! You kids today with your hobo cutting lasers, sons of bitches. <laughs> I just said it was hot, ground, but that's all I said. <laughs> so, you know why they're hard to deal with? because they were badasses, they're kick ass. We currently, in America, are a pussy generation. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Try to get somewhere without your GPS. Oh, my GPS is broken, what am I gonna do? But the good news is if I get there, my car can parallel park itself. Oh my God. We're so lame, we can't even do this anymore. <laughs> And if you're in here tonight, and you have a child under the age of 10, I don't need to meet the kid. I know the kid's a pussy. <laughs> oh yeah, I called it. I have two, eight and 11. My job every day, I look at the Lord, please God, de-pussify these children. <laughs> and if you're in here tonight, and you happen to be a countdown mom, I want you to know something. Your husband <laughs> hates your guts. <laughs> Just one time, no. I'm down in L.A. at the Sherman Oaks Galleria about two months ago. Here's what I hear behind me. Justin, Justin, three, two, one. Three, two, lady. Why don't you just start at 40? He's obviously riveted. I can't imagine my father giving me a window to find out if I was screwing up. I did not have a countdown dad. I had a beat down dad. If my father ever got the one, I heard about it when I woke up from the coma. <laughs> Welcome back. I got the one. You're 14 now. And you better get a job, because we got hospital bills. Correction, you got hospital bills. Yeah. And we've become so uptight about kids and they're gonna get hurt. Oh my God, our kids are gonna hurt. What's gonna happen? All these horrible things happening. We're so protective of our children. Oh my God, don't let them get in there. Um, try to help someone else's kid. Go to school with your kid. Try to, hey, let me show you how to do that. No, 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 no. I don't want you to help it. I want Devin to discover it. <laughs> no, I don't want to teach him. Let him discover it. <laughs> I, I was showing him how to use a fork. <laughs> I know, let this guy He's fucking 11. <laughs> Can I at least cut off the food supply and increase the learning curve a little bit? <laughs> I can't imagine my dad, let me discover it. <laughs> my father had a schedule for my ass. At nine months, you learn to crap and wipe yourself. <laughs> At 13 months, you learn to crack a beer and you bring it to your father and you don't spill a damn drop. At two and a half years, you move to the Philippines, you start building tennis shoes for Nike. Let's go. I need a toddler with a job. Legos ain't free. 